Hello my friends. This is a quick tip video about batch loading videos. I wanted to upscale several videos at once and to my surprise I could not find a solution. For images you have batch nodes to load several images one after another but not for videos. So I dived deeper and after some research I found a solution called Dream Video Batches. I am sure there is more but this is the one that I found and it works. The usage is a bit unclear, the node itself comes without an example workflow. And so I will explain it here by a simple upscale workflow. First we need to install these two nodes here. You can either drop in the workflow or you go to the manager and go custom nodes manager and Dream Media Batches and install it here. And now let's start from scratch. Let's throw in, we need a load video. Um, the upload node will not work. We need the path, load video path, then upscale image. Then we have here video combined. Um, the connection is pretty straightforward, image to image to image. And then you could uh, already type in a path here. It must be an absolute path. The drive, double point, slash, and then where your path is. This would be, for example, here. This wheel, this path here, copy, type in, and then this backslash and what the name of the file is. All of it, please. Here we are, copy. And then it would progress this one video and upscale it and save it as animate diff and GIF. This is of course wrong. Let's change this. This is upscale. This one and we choose MP4 since we have input MP4. This would be the easy upscale workflow. Now let's add the two nodes from the Dream Media Batches node set. These two here. Let me, I'm lazy, I copy it over. You could also search for, for each so this is for each file name and for each DOM. Let me change the color here to green. Okay, now we have these two. Let's have a closer look here at what we have here. We have a file path and here we have no file path input. And we need to change this. Load video path, go to widget to input. And we need uh, to use the video to input. And then we can connect the file path with the load video node. You need to set the directory. I have created me a folder called v input here at my drive C. So copy over this path. Create a folder somewhere, it doesn't matter where, and type in the directory. Okay. And the pattern is we progress MP4. This fits. This ID here. You have already seen this folder here. This is my input folder. In case you run the workflow, the node generates this, uh, generates this JSON file. And when we open up this JSON file, it is simply a list of all the videos in the file. Okay, we have now connected the input, but it will still just progress the first video because we have no for each loop. And this is where the for each done node comes in handy. And this comes at the end, before the video combine, after the generation here. And then we need to connect the for each with the for each of these two nodes. And then we have the loop. Now it will go through the list, through the JSON file, pick one file after another and generate every video. One little trap, 
you have, of course, to set the number of batch counts to the number of files that you want to progress. I have four videos here, so I need to set it to four. Let's do a bravery test. Let's throw out this one here. I'll make it bypassed. And let's throw out here the JSON file, just for demonstration purposes. And let's run the batch. And you see the JSON file gets generated. And in my output folder, I get now the upscale videos, but with the name upscale as defined here. You notice what I did wrong? I forgot to adjust the width and the height from the upscaling. Um, I need 1920 to 1080. And that was it. This is the core here. This here is the core. Now let's do some icing here because I'm not happy with the file names. And this is why I have implemented the text combination node here. Text combination two. And we need to set the name of the, this is file name prefix as an input. Then we need to set the method here, text to one and text to to output one. Then let's connect the output one with the file name prefix. And the name needs to be connected here too. And so let's go here, convert widget to input. This is text one, no text two. I want to have here my prefix. Here I can define a folder and a prefix. Let's say output and a slash backslash and my file name upscaled. And now let's connect it. What we get here now is we will have the original name of the file in the folder output and with the prefix upscaled. Bravery test. Let's do it. Ignore this error. And now we have a folder called output. And the files are now named as in the first, as in the input folder but with a prefix upscaled. This is what I wanted. I'm a lazy guy. This is, by the way, what happened when we got the error. It just converted three of the four videos. So always check. In general, it works. That's for this quick tip. Have fun.